This is a place quite restful to my kind. Why not avail yourself of it? A dragon. Eat it. What can I do? As you will. Salesman surely has its own charms. Why not avail yourself of the interesting? That's quite the boon, good fisher. these roads with traveling peddlers, guardsmen, and other folk. The roads are safer than the grass. We can see. What will it be? Have your bed. What will it be? What will it be? Have your bed. Come again. to keep all manner of beasts from Grancis. With all that I am, I thank you. Traveling about in this lo like how no my blackguard Now, let us talk of business.
Now, let us talk. Pray, call again. Seems something. Now, let us pray. Seems now. Now, pray. Seems now. Now, pray. It is a heavy onus the men here bear. It is enough to make you think twice of leaving home. Come, come, don't. my way.
Tis a tangled paths inside. Best we prepared well. survive the next encounter. If you feel a foe beyond our means, there is no shame in fear. able to fight at the arisen side. I am thankful. Salvation bastards show an unnatural unity in their actions. There are good men left in the hold. I wish there were aught I could do to help them.
your master. Stay vigilant. The first strike shall be mine. Sir, you are amazing. I thought the Arisen little more than the stuff of old tales. How wrong I was. Huh? The door? The door? Oh, of course, sir. I shall open it straight away.
fucking bones! This is gonna be scary. The leader is just beyond. Pray, go and put him to the blade. Ah, oh, but first, take what you will from the storeroom. Just the least we can offer you. This must be the work of the darkest magic. That was hardly a warm-up. Bones! Walking bones! Welcome. <laughs> it would seem our fates are closely bound. The honeyed sleep of destruction will find this place, and all the world in its turn. Indeed, the coming night ill needs us, its faithful harbingers. <laughs> Just as you and your hubris cannot hope to stop the divine beast that mocked you. Before its might, you stand as useless and frail as this ungainly contrivance of brick and mortar. Nonetheless, the trice you might delay the dragon's coming is blasphemy just the same. Dust, but first they shall peel the flesh from your bones, my dear Arisen. <laughs>
<laughs> I fear I have misjudged the extent of your skill, dear Arisen. I see it was folly to worry of walls and armies while you still live. However, <laughs> it seems my regret will be short-lived. Don't you feel it? The very air dances around us! <laughs> the long night is come! The dragon's reign at last begins! Repentant blasphemers! This is absolute truth! This is salvation! The rantings of an upjump zealot make for tedious listening. His ilk serves no role in what is to come. Only my death will staunch the flood of destruction. A task still far beyond your need. If you would face me, seek me out, and I shall allow it. But heed the zealot's lesson well. When the weak or death may find it. Until then, I shall hold your little keepsake safe. Your dragon forged will speak for my diligence in that. The choice falls not to me, nor to the whims of fate. It is yours alone.